Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another giant station. This one is called the Orbital Defense Platform, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is a large block space station that features one hell of a lot of guns on the outside, but its looks are very deceiving. What this station actually is, is a giant railgun platform. This large tower all the way up to here is just a railgun barrel. Where if we'll poke the camera all the way through it, what we're going to find are two little railguns sitting right below there. There's one on that side, there is one right there. And once you're in the control seat, you can then move this platform all the way around, zoom all the way in in a fancy chair, and blast your enemies with it. We'll look at that a bit later. Pressing F10 and find in the spawn menu the orbital defense platform, is 2,999 large blocks using pretty much all the DLC packs. We can also see a nice lot of information about it, including what it has. So we see there its gyroscopes, its batteries, and all the other stuff, as well as its PCU limit, block limit, and weight. So we'll give this thing a thumbs up. I'll move all the way around to, well, let's start on this side for the moment. We'll go around the outside, have a quick look at the interior, and then we'll go blast some nearby space pirates who are just sitting right above there, where I conveniently aimed the railguns. So hiding that for the moment all the way over to here, this is what we get. So starting on platform side B, what we got is a connector for you to dock up a large ship to. We have two very convenient LCD screens with arrows, make sure you know exactly where you're going. And on the left and right hand side, we can see our artillery turrets and our assault cannons. Putting my light on and coming all the way over to here, this is our turret setup. So we've got some on the top and some on the bottom. All the rounds over to here, we come to our smaller ship docking pads, where I'm currently standing. So like this, we've got ourselves small connectors in the floor. We've got ourselves letter blocks to identify the platforms. And then we've got stairs to come all the way across over to another connector for a medium ship to dock up to. If we were to turn all around and face the station like so, we can then see an ion thruster on the side because we can maneuver this thing around at a very, very slow rate to get it in position to fire our big railgun. We can also see a bunch of conveyors coming across to our turrets to the main body of the ship to make sure they've got plenty of ammo to fire. Then we can see some solar panels on the wall there. We've got a doorway to get inside. A, another connector all the way at the top here for another ship to come and dock up to. And across over here, some fantastic use of our beam blocks. We can see even more conveyors with catwalks in front of them. Then coming over to our docking pad, we can see some great use of our beam blocks. You can see the conveyor going all the way across underneath our platform. And then another turret below there, just in case a sneaky drone tries to come up from underneath. Coming all the way around over to this, we've got some fake fuel tanks in our red random blocks. Now we'll move all the way down. Under here, we've got ourselves an antenna and a decoy setup. The decoy is sitting behind some armored panels, which is going to be right over here. Got a little bit confused for a second with that antenna, but there it is. It's got some interior pillars that come all the way across over to there, adding in some decoration. There is a laser antenna, just in case you need it. We've got some lovely green blocks come all the way up and behind our red rounded blocks. If you were to return all the way up to here and look at this section, it's going to be basically the same as what we just saw. So there's the conveyors with catwalks in front of them. There's our beam blocks. Here is another set of platforms. That's once again got some stairs to come all the way across over here for a larger ship to come and dock up to. Again, we've got assault cannons and artillery cannons on the top and the bottom. There's another ion thruster. Then if we were to come all the way across over here past our docking pad on the side, to get a better look at side A, we can then see some more ion thrusters to help us push this thing around. If we were to zoom all the way out and look at the main building like so, we are against the sunlight, so we have to use the light. Moving all the way up, we then got another docking pad right here. Some more ion thrusters. Then across over to the main section here, we can't see too much on this bit, but if we were to come all the way around over here, we can see our main control station. Just peering into the window, we've got this fancy seat, which is the one which controls the railgun. When you get into it, it's going to fold all the way around, and aim up towards this LCD screen, which is how you're going to properly aim the turret against whatever you want to blast. We'll come back to that a bit later. On the opposite side, this is what we get. Not too much to talk about. It's basically the same, apart from this middle section right here, where we can peer inside. But just for the sake of it, we'll come over to this green pillar right here, where on the back of it, we've got those red round of blocks. On this side, we've got ourselves a safe zone generator, just sticking out the side, just in case you want to use it as a safe zone, or you can have it as an orbital bombardment platform, which seems to be its intended purpose. That will come all the way down to here, where we can see just behind here a couple of warfare reactors. There's plenty of them on here, as well as batteries 
and of course solar panels. So you've got plenty of power, doesn't matter if one thing gets set offline, you're going to have a lot of backup systems. If it was just to come up to it and start to look down, that is what we get. We can see our docking pads on each side, we can see the arms with all of our turrets, we can see our docking pads on the left and right hand side with how they got that claw set up. Then over here, if we were to peer down, this is our railgun barrel, where we can see an LCD screen all the way over to here, where we can see our aiming reticle. So we can go all the way like so, there's our camera sitting on a cylindrical column. Then if we were to come down the barrel, that is what we saw at the very start, just two railguns sticking all the way up, and that should deal a nice lot of damage to whatever it hits. If we were to look at the barrel on the side, it's just a lot of beam blocks that come all the way down to here. We've got a small access point just in case you need it. And then we're now at the main body. Sort of clip through that. Sorry about that. All the way over to this section behind these beam blocks, we do have a bit of glass for our walkway, but we'll get a better look at that when we're on the inside. And just looking at it from underneath, that is what we get. We can see some more ion thrusters. There is our antenna, decoy, and laser antenna. And of course, a couple more turrets for good measure. And there we go, that is a very brief look around the outside of the orbital defense platform. Hopefully I didn't miss anything out, I'm pretty sure I covered everything. But it looks bloody fantastic, it's got a lot of firepower, and I'm going to be sure to test this out at the end of the video against a ship set to the Space Pirates. But now what I can do is just grab hold of my character, we can walk all the way across over here, pretend like we docked up a larger ship to this connector. Now we can just walk all the way across, and this is what we'll see on foot. So we've got that big looming tower up there, which holds our rail guns. We can see our connectors over there. We can see our lovely turrets and whatever they're firing at. And we do have a little railing here in case you want to just stand over there and look down and underneath. Just walking all the way across to here, we do have a few safety rails there, just in case you need it. But then we can come past this connector in the floor and over to this doorway. Opening it up, it seems we have a time block system in place because the doors will close after about five seconds. And it's not after you open the door, it's just on a constant five second timer. So once I open up that, there we go, that wasn't five seconds, but if I open up immediately, it'll then take five seconds to close once again. Anyway, opening that up, this is what we get when we first enter the room, and this is going to be the same on the other side of the platform. we just got a small little civilian area, we got your contracts, you got your vendors, a small place to sit down and discuss stuff, and a counter to get a few drinks and maybe some food. So walking down these steps, we've got some armory lockers on this side, looking up some neon tubes, an air vent, a lovely light panel, and all the way across to here we can see some conveyors under the floor with some catwalks on top. Walking towards this, this is our store and vendor setup. Around the corner we've got some freight crates, there is our little counter, there's our little chair, then looking up once again, that's all we get. If we were to move all the way past this and towards the doorway, we'll see we've got some armory lockers right around the corner, so if you want some privacy while changing, you got that. But opening up this and coming through here, this is our lovely glass little walkway where we can see our beam blocks we saw where we went around the outside. That's the view on the opposite side, we can see the planet Earth right over there. And on this side, we can't really see too much, but I think that's the alien planet and its moon. Opening up the doorway and into here, this is into the heart of the station. But for the moment, we're going to ignore this and come around over to here. So once again, we've got ourselves our walkway. Then into here, here is the exact same setup as we saw just a minute ago on the opposite side. If we were to open up this doorway, once again, we've got a double door. And now we're on the opposite side, on the platform. There we go. So just coming all the way back through here, ignoring the stuff down there. We now come back to that room that we were just in. And it's time to go into this side over here. This is our medical bay. We've got a few bits and bobs. But we've got our traditional medical bay. We've got our cryopods and a armory locker to store any kind of med packs you produce. If we were to look all the way up and around, we can see a conveyor pipe, a light panel, an air vent. Then we've got a little scanning machine right there and a little desk for your doctor to sit on and to fill out their paperwork. But to turn around and come back through here, then take a look in this room because I did forget about that. Looking up, we can see the time blocks handling the door. We can see two programmable blocks. Then we've got some conveyor pipes just coming from the ceiling to the floor. And we've got some lights going around, which is well lit up, so we won't need to put on our lights. All the way around and over here, we can take a sneaky look inside there, where we can see that our Evan is also pumping oxygen into the room opposite. So opening up the doorway, this is our control room got a bunch of scary screens in our lovely green colouring, there's not really too much going on apart from this seat up there. All the way around and on here looking at our LCD screens, we can see our inventory management script showing us everything in our cargo containers. Onto this one we then got our ammo reserves and if any blocks are damaged, and it looks like platform B2 
has taken a little bit of damage. Not sure there's a drone floating around shooting it, but well, nothing seems to be happening at the moment. Over to here, we then got our air vents, oxygen tanks, and hydrogen tanks. Onto this section, we then got our power output for our reactors, solar panels, batteries, their input outputs, and all that. Then onto this one, we then can see what is docked up to which platform, so you can monitor who's coming in and out. They were to quickly hop into this seat, nothing going on. Hopping into this seat, nothing going on. Into this, we do have a few controls, but we're not going to touch number one, because that'll be handled in another seat. Number two is for our batteries to auto recharge. Number three is to unlock all of our connectors. Number four is for our air vents to depressurize on and off. Number five is for our turrets on and off. Number six is for our turrets to target our lock on targets. Number seven is for our hydrogen tanks to stockpile. Number eight is for our antenna on and off. Number nine is for our beacon on and off. Then on tab number two, we've got a gravity generator on and off in case you want to mess around with people. Hopping out to that and coming around all the way over to this ladder, this is where the fun happens. So all the way up to here, we can see a very suspicious rotor and piston. If you want to hop into the seat, we have a few controls. Pressing number one, this is what's going to happen. We're going to rotate and then align ourselves with this LCD screen. If we want to press number two, we're now going to take control over our rail guns. And if we want to press number one, we'll then view through that camera we saw earlier. And if I was to bring up the signals, we can then see we've got some space powers all the way over there. And yes, we can turn this thing all the way around thanks to our drone scripts, thanks to our thrusters. So we can align ourselves quite nicely. And if I get that like so, I can now press number two, click the mouse. And there we go, we're going to fire both of our railguns. And it looks like we did a direct hit onto those space pirates. I think one of them did miss, but there we go with that. You can just turn this all the way around if you want to. Turn up the sensitivity on my mouse so we can actually move this thing at speed. That is what that does. Once we're done, we can then come out of that. We can press number one again. It rotates us around back. And we're now how we were. And there we go. If we want to bring the free camera in so we get a better look at that little transformation process. Like so. Hide all the signals. Once again, we're going to press number one. And that is all it does. Just a nifty little thing to help aim that railgun. But that is pretty much it for the orbital defense platform has to offer. So one final thing to do, of course, before we give a large ship to the space pirates, is to find the albatross from last time, which should be somewhere nearby. It's all the way up to here. So this is the thing turning all the way around. And for good measure, I'll show you it using its thrusters. So not going anywhere quick. But yes, it is quite useful to have if you do need to realign the station. Anyway, moving this thing all the way up. Now going to try and face it. Should be all the way around to here. Come on. Quite hard to turn the station. Was to bring the free camera all the way over and to show you what I'm currently doing. There you go. It's starting to get a bit of speed now. But we'll just keep going around. And there it is. There is the albatross. We're now going to align this once again. Going to the camera once again, aiming like so. And here we go with the railguns firing straight into the main body. That was, that was very odd. That was a very delayed reaction. And it looked like the albatross just deflected the shots. But yes, as I said, and I'll hop out of here for the moment. And we'll come all the way around and, you know what? We'll just use the albatross beans this right over here. And here we go. I'm giving the albatross to the space pirates. I'm now going to charge along towards the orbital defense platform to see what kind of damage we can deal. It does have one hell of a lot of artillery and assault turrets on there, so it should deal a nice lot of damage to this ship. But I have a feeling, like usual, the Albatross is going to win due to the sheer amount of Gatling guns on here and the sheer rate it can blow through turrets. So here we come all the way across. They should start to open fire at any moment. There goes all of our turrets. But will their turrets start to open fire? Here comes all the shots. Now we're just going to start to fly past it. I'm going to try and angle this so I don't get shot into the cockpit because they really want that cockpit. And here we go with the free camera. That's what it looks like. They are just open firing with all of their guns. The assault cannons, the artillery cannons are making very good work at removing all the steel blocks. The albatross is being pushed away due to the sheer power of the turrets. But look at that stream of Gatling guns just going all the way through there. I'm not sure they can hold out for much longer, but it does seem like the Gatling guns are having Quite a lot of trouble actually hitting the targets. They seem to be spreading out quite a lot. And this turret seems to be taking quite a beating, but it's still going. But there we go. I think the Albatross is being pushed out of range of the Gatling turrets. I can sort of see them flickering in the distance. 
Yes, it still looks like this station is doing a very good job at repelling that large ship. As I said, there's not too much else to talk about for the orbital defense platform. It's a lovely space station if you are looking for something that could double as a gigantic railgun turret. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around for yourself. Highly recommend you do. There'll also be a link to the skybox I'm also using. So it's a rather nice one. And it's nice and bright and not too dark. So thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.